I'm here with Bruce Hay of Drake Collectibles. Bruce, the last time I saw you was in South China a couple of months ago at the Wan Ho factory. So why do you keep following me around? Well, Ian, I'm not sure if I'm following you or you're following me. Like, I've been here for a few days and you've only just arrived today. Yeah, that's actually a good point. So the first thing I'd like to do, Bruce, is to give you the Cranes Etc. Award for 2016 for your steerable trailer. And this is the second year in a row that you've won the award, so um, hoping you'll uh, have something good for the 2017 as well. There you are. Thanks very much for this, Ian. This is, this is truly an honour. To uh, Last year was, uh, was sort of like a dream, I suppose, for a, for a new manufacturer to win such a prestigious award. But to back it up, um, two years in a row, that's, uh, that's really superb. We're really happy with that. Bruce Drake Collectibles have got a reputation for making very good models. So what are you doing to enhance that reputation going forward? Okay, Ian, well, what we, we're looking at doing is uh, our first release for 2017 is three more of the uh, Cranes Etc 2016 models of the year with our, our seven row steerable platforms with the accessory kits. So these, these next releases have the, uh, the Drake corporate orange and blue one the white and red one, which is a few different Australian companies, and also the very popular livery of memory transport. So what we've done is, our company liveries have always been a limited number of produced, and once they've been produced, we never produce them again. So to further add to the value of that, what Drake have done is we have introduced now our fleet series. So what our fleet series is, is a company model. It comes with a numbered certificate, and also these ones here from Memory Transport have been personally signed by Craig Memory. But I know the collectors like that little bit more and they like to get into the history of everything. So where possible with our fleet series, we'll also include a brochure which tells the story and the history behind the transport company. So you've shown us the fleet series, but you've got something else to show us as well. Yes, Ian, what we've also done is the majority of our models are, are based on trucks that drive up and down the road all day, every day. We did do a special truck uh, a couple of years ago, which was the, the Membry Rowan truck, which was a truck built by Craig Membry after the loss of his, of his son. So we got to thinking about that. There's, there's trucks out there that have a story. So what we've done is we've introduced the Drake Signature Series. Now the Signature Series is all about a truck which tells a story. The first release, which has sold out, it actually sold out in 24 hours, is a, a replica of the William Bratling truck, which is a truck that works in Australia, carting cattle from Alice Springs to Darwin. So this truck was built by a grandson to uh, honour his father, or his grandfather, sorry, who was a soldier in World War I. But to make this unique, we've added an aluminium compliance plate, mm -hmm which has all the details, it's engraved with the amount of numbers produced and, and whichever model it is. And uh, also comes with the story and the background of what the truck is about, whether it's, it's about a, a person or an event or something. So we propose to produce two or three of these a year. They are very limited, hot property. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they do look interesting for collectors, but I can imagine Collectors might be wondering, well, how can they get one of these models? Because if they're selling out so fast, how can they how can they register interest in order that they can actually have a chance to buy them? Yeah, we've uh, they can send us an email or send their uh, uh, dealer an email. Uh, we try to restrict these so that people can't buy a box full of them and profit here after it. Mm -hmm. Out of the sales from this model. Um, out of the sales from this model, we made money to donated money to Beyond Blue. This model in particular, we, we ha had a special plate made with the, the details of William Bratling and his army service number on it. We put this model on eBay in Australia. It was a $220 model. This model sold for $3,650 wow. with all the proceeds going to Legacy, which is a foundation in Australia that support the family of our uh, wounded military or our, our deceased military. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Because then you can own something collectible and your money's gone to a good cause as well. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's good stuff. How about on the new model front? What's coming in 2017? Okay, Ian, well, currently in production at the uh, our factory in China is the start of the, the Maxi Trans Lane range of product. 
the freighter trailers, the B-doubles and the road trains mm -hmm. are coming first. Here's just a couple of samples here, EFP samples of the, uh, the silver A trailer and the white B trailer. Now these will come out in a combination of A and B trailer to make a, a B-double, or they'll also come with the B trailer and the road train dolly which can add on to make a, a road train, which is very popular in Australia. These have all the standard rake features with working suspensions, turntables, wind down legs. They also have removable gates, which are steel, make them a bit more robust. Mm -hmm. When they're not on the trailer, they will fit in oh. there and they have removable spare tires. So these will be available in May at the Brisbane Truck Show. And uh, they're finally, finally through all the, the red tape and off we go. Yeah, are you expecting to make those in some different colours? They'll come in a few different colours. We'll, the original plan was three different liveries every quarter, but because they've been a little bit delayed, there's probably going to be more like six in the first quarter. And uh, they'll continue coming out in popular colours that we've already released and in, in all your favourite names and company names. What do you think about having some loads that could go on them? We've been working on that with different boxes and pallets and there's, there's been a lot happening besides the scenes there. Also with machines that can be broken down so the main part of the machine can be on the low loader and the accessories for the machines will be on the trailer so that's yet to come. It's going to be an exciting year. Okay so plenty to look forward to on that front. Bruce, you've got another model out for us to look at. This one seems to be in a rather plain grey colour scheme. Yes, Ian. Well, these are models under development from the Maxi Trans Lane range. These are the lusty EMS uh, tippers in front. They're grey because these are the tooling hand samples, what we call it. They're, they're made out of resin, machined out of resin. And uh, what happens from here is once they've been proofed and everything's right, we then develop the tooling when then after the tooling comes the first shot, the first painted sample, and then on the shelf for all the collectors to produce. So the two in front of here is an A and B trailer combination from Lusty EMS. They've come with the standard sort of Drake features as working suspension, wind down legs. These being tippers, they actually tip. The, uh, the tip doors open, they've got extra op operating grain chute mm -hmm. in the back door. And the, the A trailer also has the slide back feature so the bin will slide back and they can tip without all the, all the rocks and the gravel going on the tipper. The other one behind here, this is from the, the Hamlex White range. This is a typically what we call a, a tipper dog. So this trailer will uh, go behind a truck with a tipper body on it. And it also has a similar sort of features. So these will, will go further in development towards the end of the year. And uh, hopefully uh, next year on the stand here, we might have some painted samples of them. Okay, so people will be able to buy these probably more like in 2018 than 2018, this year. yeah. Okay, With that's... the other development of the, the other range of the maxi trains, we have the flat top trailers, we also have the skill trailers coming and the vans, the refrigerated van and the dry van, so they share a lot of common parts. These ones only share common axles, so oh, okay. they'll come next year. Okay, good. You're actually sharing a stand here with WSI, so is that a sign of further cooperation in the future? Yes, Ian, WSI is the Drake distributor for the European region, so we had a three-part plan. The first part of the plan was for WSI to establish Drake uh, with a better footprint in Europe, Drake to do the same for WSI in Australia, and we've both got really great models, so at the Brisbane Truck Show in May this year will be the first Drake WSI model combination. Uh, it'll be in a, a very popular worldwide livery, which have a lot of Drake trailers in Australia. And uh, it'll look something like this here. We, we, we can't show you the prototype or the, or the colours or not, but uh, these are Benz. It will be right-hand drive. It has got a bull bar on the front of it. And uh, this will be the first of many Drake WSI. And the model you're announcing, that will be a, uh, a limited edition? It will be a limited release model, yes. Well, it's good to know that you've been quite busy down under and you're not just sitting around in the sun all day. And I think you've got one more last truck to show us. Yeah, and what we've done is we've been value adding to our, our current tooling with, with tooling of new items so we can change the models. 
this is a designated heavy haulage K200 truck, typical of a truck from down under. It's got the huge bull bar on the front, the stone guard on there to protect from the rocks and the gravel, but this also has the push point in the front, the push point in the back, uh, it's got the heavy duty mud guards, it's got the twin exhaust, the twin air cleaners, all those things that all the collectors have been asking for. The skirting kits, the cab tilts, it's got all the proper pipe, cab tilts, it's got all the proper pipe work and everything underneath. So this is a, a, another addition. It's a longer chassis, it's a heavier chassis, um, a lot of new tooling, a lot of new parts. So you have to be really a bit of a tough guy if you want to collect this kind of model. Yeah, this is, this is a, a, a typical tough Australian truck. Good stuff. Okay, thanks very much uh, for seeing us today, Boots. No worries, thank you, Ian.